Hello and welcome to my first round of recommendations. What I will be doing here is I'll give you four videos I found noteworthy on YouTube and, well, recommend them. Why four, you may ask? Well, it's easy. YouTube lets me put up to four links in the end of my video and I will link each of these videos at the end of my video after I introduced you to each one and recommended each one, of course. That's why we're here. So, let's go, shall we? My first recommendation is on a very weird topic nobody probably ever asked for unless they actually encountered this. It's by uh, Vox and it's only four and a half minutes long and really an interesting lesson in history and how old the idea of memes is. It's titled Why Knights Fought Snails in Medieval Art and that's exactly what it's about. There's a strange number of snails appearing in medieval books fighting knights and Vox goes into this topic and how that developed. Keeping with weird topics, Pat Mac chronicles the many releases of the Sonic the Hedgehog ice cream bar with gumball eyes. I mainly selected this for the weirdness of this topic and the idea that anybody would make a video about this, but here we are and it's actually really well done and really intricate with all the releases of the Sonic the Hedgehog ice cream bar chronicled and archived and looked at with the different colors of the gumball and derivatives and so on. It's really interesting what uh, people can do research on. On to more traditional fare, resurrected starships looked at the size of the Enterprise and asked if it's actually big enough to fit its whole crew. It's um, eight minutes and they go into much detail how many people actually could be uh, stationed on the ship, the original USS Enterprise from the original series. And yeah, that's a really nice uh, math exercise. And finishing today's selection, I have a video on Dark Souls. It's a bit older, it's two years old, but it's still interesting. Dark Souls helped me cope with suicidal depression by writing on games. And writing on games in general is really a good channel on games. And this topic that Dark Souls help people with suicidal depression, clinical depression, in general depression, that's something that pops up a lot. And I think it's really interesting how Dark Souls manages to do this and how it affects people. And that's a lot. Next time I'll be tackling The Predator because that movie is coming up and we'll be looking at humanoid aliens and why they are not very likely to be the most common aliens we find. But they are very, very common in uh, movies. And... Until then, I'll be seeing you.